Okay, so I'm late on this one. Let's react to this first. Late on this one, the Trey Songs video. So I mean, not the Trey Songs. Yeah, whatever. The Trey Songs video of him getting to the fight with the police officer. And a lot of people spoke on it. I've been hearing the talks about it for the whole week, but I'm like, where's the video? Where's the video? So I actually found the video and let's watch this for people who haven't watched it. And if you have watched it, it's just going to better to see the video to color the assessment of the video. So let's just watch this. <laughs> Okay, so that's the end of the video. Okay, so Trey Songs, they ended up calming the situation and de-escalating it and taking them out calmly. My whole question is, why did they want to arrest him and detain him in the first place? Because at the end of the whole thing, they're like, okay, he didn't do anything. He was unfairly attacked. As you can hear the people in the background chirping that stuff. He didn't do anything. He didn't do anything. Here's the unfortunate truth. Trey Songs may have not done anything. He may have been unfairly targeted by that officer, but when an officer comes at you and he's trying to get, he's trying to apprehend you, you have to not resist. You have to hold back from your natural instinct to brush someone off you, even when it's unjust or whatever, and understand that they're cops. You're going to get a, a assault on officer and you're, it's going to be very hard to beat those charges, especially with the video. And it's hard to just be like, well, I didn't do anything. Because they don't want to hear all of that. All they see is the assault and the resisting. So hopefully everything goes well for Trey Songs. But I don't know. With this video evidence out there in TMZ and then you know how TMZ works with cops and shit. It's like, I don't know. It's not gonna it's not it's not looking too good for the most part. But, you know, it is what it is. Hopefully he gets out of that situation. But yeah, you can't resist, man. They always want to say, oh yeah. Sometimes they don't resist and they still beat you up and blah, 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 and they still arrest you. And it's like, yo, that's life. It's fucked up, but it's life. If you want to avoid getting further charges or avoid being the wrong person in the situation, you just have to, as soon as you see these cops or whatever, if they want to get physical, you try to protect your life because nobody wants to get the George Floyd situation. And a lot of cops are still putting their knees on people's necks. But resisting and, and just protecting yourself, it's... I, I don't know, man. It's hard for me to even say this type of shit because it's hard sometimes. You're conflicted. They go too far and you're really just trying to protect yourself. But for the most part, that chokehold, they're going to look at that and be like, is that just protecting yourself or is that trying? They're going to look at that and chop that up and be like, yo, they're going to they're gonna try to make it stick to them. That's my assessment and opinion of the situation. I think that they're going to try to make it stick to them. 